Hey guys, today we are going to talk about one more topic today. This is by far they say that is one of the most confusing topics in like aptitude and reasoning. It is we are talking about is a direction test. When you are talking about direction test, people generally get confused what to do, what not to do. I will today show you a simple way how you can achieve a simple solution in direction test. In order to do that, you have to remember a few points, a few points in that some basic points. But before we start with that, let's let's do like this, let's bring up a copy. Bring up a copy in sense that I'll show you in real time how can you solve this. So let's bring up a copy. There you go. There you have a copy. Now remember there are two key points you have to understand while you are solving a direction test. First one, there could be the directions that can be mentioned. Direction is that north, east, west or south. If the directions are mentioned, as you can see, you have to draw like that only in your copy. You will not change the direction. Means what? Let's say a man was traveling west. He was traveling and you suddenly said that you have to go north. West means okay, you are drawing it this way. When it says not, you have to draw upwards. That means what? What is shown in this copy will not change. The direction mentioned will draw according to this symbols. That's it, nothing else. So where is the confusion lying? The confusion is lying when it says the traveler or the man takes a left turn or a right turn. This is where the confusion is doing. Means what I want to say is that when the directions are mentioned, that is east, west, north and south, irrespective of your last travel, the view is not concerned. You will just follow the arrows as you can see. But when that left or right is mentioned, left turn, right turn is mentioned, you have to take the last view into account. There where your confusions may start. So let's take up a question in order for you to understand. Let me take up a fresh page. Now the question says, there was a man who walked one kilometer east, then he turned south for five kilometers, then he turned left for let's say two kilometers, finally he turned left again for nine kilometers. This is the question. He, the man as you can see the question is given. Now if you identify the key points, there are two direction mentioned and two turnings has been mentioned. First one it says the man walks one kilometer east. So what will happen? Like that. After that, it says the man turns towards south. Like I told you, when south is mentioned, whichever way he is going, it doesn't matter. He will go south. South, 4 kilometers or 5 kilometers downwards. Done. This is 5 kilometers south. Then he turns left. Now your confusion may start. Now if you are saying that if he is turning left, if he is turning left, left will be which side? That side or this side? You don't know about it. I will give you a simple system where to in order to solve this. In order to conf uh, means, means clear your confusions, what you can do is that rotate your copy. Rotate your copy and always keep the last direction upwards. Done. I have done, I have flipped my copy upside down and the direction, the last direction is upwards. I hope you are clear about this. Now see, it says left. Which way is your logical left? Forget the question. Logically left is which way? That side, right? Draw that side. I am drawing that side for 2 kilometers, rotating the copy to the original position. See, the left is which way? You can see it, it is solved. So simple technique. If you are confused which way is the left, rotate your copy, make the last view upwards and you just draw logically left or right, whatever is according to the question. Then you rotate back your copy to the original position, done. So he walked 2 kilometers, finally he is again taking a left turn. Now again left is which way, upwards or downwards, you might be confused. What you do? Rotate again. When you are rotating, the arrow is upwards, logically is upward is that direction, so means if the upwards is this side, left is that direction, so you draw in that direction. Once you draw it, copy back to the original position done. That is how you can solve the simplest of the direction test. So this is your starting point and that is your finishing point. Remember, direction test can come up with three questions. Question number one, they might ask you which way is your final point to the starting point. If you are talking about the final point, he is in the northeast direction, correct? If it says 
which way is your starting point from the final point? It is not northeast from that point to this point, this is southwest. So, you have to remember what is the question asked. If it is saying which point it is fi finding out, according to that, the point will be decided and according to that, the solutions will come up. And the third question that is asked, find the distance between the two points. Remember, if it is purely horizontal or purely vertical, if they are lying on a vertical line or a horizontal line, then it is simple addition and subtraction. But this is not lying in simple horizontal and vertical plane. It is inclined. When it is inclined, you have to use the Pythagoras theorem to solve it. If you draw the triangle, it will come up something like this. And if you solve it using the Pythagoras theorem, you'll find that the distance between the two points is 5 km. That is how you can solve direction test. It's a very simple trick. Rotate your copy and left and right will not give you a problem. North, East, West and South, these directions are directly to be drawn. That is how you can solve direction test. I'll see you in the next video. We'll continue about it with few more tricks. Thank you.